Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please do me a favor if you're stopping by and you like the content that you receive here, hit like and subscribe. Help me out by sharing a video or two if there's information that somebody else can benefit from. So I'm gonna get into the topic of today and that is tipping. So I've been seeing a lot about this and I am so curious about what you guys think about the tipping like is tipping getting out of control y'all like now when you go through the drive-through of chick-fil-a and starbucks there's a tip jar starbucks i could see that but fast food restaurants why am i seeing tip jars and when you go to the mall restaurants like those little not the restaurants but the food court and you go in the the little mall food court and they have that that white card scanner thing, and you scan, you scan your card to pay for the food, and it asks you for a tip. And pretty much every business or small business, because they're using the little white scanner or that, that phone, the little scanner that goes on the phone, or Venmo, PayPal, those businesses have it set up where when you scan your card, it asks how much you want to tip. And it's so awkward, right? Because you're like, I'm already, like, let's say the example of using a, of a small business. I'm already buying this product, trying to support a small business. I'm paying for the service or I'm paying for the product. What am I tipping for? And so what is the proper tipping etiquette these days? And that's what we're kind of going to talk about today. And I'm going to just be upfront. I don't really have the answer. I did a little bit of research and I was looking at so many websites and everyone is all over the place. So I did see a couple of things that make sense that I kind of want to talk about, but I'm curious to know what you guys say as far as tipping etiquette. So I'm going to start with this. Products and services that I still believe we should tip for are the traditional sitting down and going to a restaurant, um, beauty services. This um, Someone braided my hair in these beautiful braids. And even though she paid me, I, I, I tip. I've always tipped for my hair. And I know that the amount varies on that itself. But one of my golden rules when it comes to tipping for a service is if I know I'm going to continue to utilize that same person or that familiar company for that service, I'm going to be a good tipper there. And that might be for selfish reasons. <laughs> I'm just going to be real. It might be for selfish reasons. Number one, because I'm building a relationship with them. So I'm, we'll stick to the hair thing. So I'm building a rela relationship with my stylist. And we sit there, and we chat, and we talk, and we're comfortable. And if I'm a net terrible tipper, or if, I, or if I don't tip, or if my tipping, the amount is an insult, then that kind of makes it awkward when I'm sitting in your chair for hours. So I look out for my t in my tip for that. I look out for that person. And also because selfish reasons, I want to be treated like I tip well. Like, you know, when you are a good tipper at a salon or with your stylist, they'll move things around for you. If you have something coming up and they're booked, they'll make room for you because you tip. So that kind of thing. Um, even Starbucks, like if I'm going to go to the same Starbucks every single day at the same time and that same person is at the window and let's say they start to get used to my, my routine. So at 710, when I pull up, they already have my drink ready and it's nice and warm. It just made it because I knew I was coming. I'm going to tip. That's going to be a tip. I may not tip at the, the the Starbucks that I'm traveling, passing through on the road. I'm just being honest. Somebody might want to shame me in the comments. I don't know, but I'm just being real on my channel. We're real over here. So that's kind of my way of tipping. <clears throat> on restaurants in the food court, I'm not tipping. <laughs> I'm not tipping. I, all you did was do this, slam my plate down and hand me a cup that I got to go fix my own drink. And I may tip if I'm in like a jolly, generous mood or the person was super nice, like it, like it'll be on a mood based thing, but I'm not feeling obligated to tip in those situations. Um, 
services like someone who comes to your house to fix something on a one time, like a plumber or something like that, those things are generally not requiring a tip. But if it's like the holiday season, I'm more generous during the holiday season. I might just tip everywhere asked if it's the holidays. But just typically, unless that person like in that service has gone way and above, then that doesn't require a tip. If I, I just bought clothes from a boutique where it was all I did was go on their site and pick out my clothing and put it in my shopping cart and pay for it and ask me for a tip. I'm not tipping for that. You're getting my business. Where, where's the tip? Like where, where's the service tip for that? So unless it's somebody like, unless I become like a frequent buyer and that boutique somehow, like I, I develop a relationship with the owner and they'll look out or put stuff aside for me, stuff like that. I feel like it's the right thing to do to tip and they may just do it anyway, regardless of your tip, because they're building a relationship with you to retain the customer base. And that's a good idea or a good business model for them to do regardless of if you tip or not. But for me, when I see a small business owner or a service, someone who's providing a service to me going above and beyond, and I know I may frequent that service, like I'm moving into a home, like someone who's going to mow my lawn and they go above and beyond, or I'm building that relationship that they may bend things for my convenience, whatever. And even though that's a good practice for them, regardless if I tip, I'm still going to tip because I'm going to acknowledge them for doing that because you don't, you don't always see that in the world of entre like small businesses and entrepreneurship. You don't see that all the time where people understand that building relationship and doing that is a good practice for their business model. So I'm going to reward that as a customer. So I don't know if this really answered the question about tipping, but I hope it did at least put something out there that a lot of the reason why we're getting asked to tip so much is because the way the payment system is set up and not to feel obligated to tip just because you're asked through that payment system. So if you guys have any input or anywhere I could expand on this, I'm going to keep on looking into the subject and check back in with it. I hope everybody has an amazing day. Bye.